Hello and welcome back to the second video of me playing Wildlands Bear. The first video I just showed you what you what you get, what you unlock eventually and how big the map was. This time I thought I would jump in and do a wee bit of gameplay. I've already to complete all missions as I previously explained on my other videos. So let's go find some enemies to shoot. If you want you can do the usual stealth attacks, sneak in, attack them or you and your NPCs are in a vehicle, you can drive right up to the where the enemies are and you press F on keyboard Ready? and they will shoot the enemies. Like so. Boom, they're dead. Then you can call them back into the vehicle, which I think is pretty cool. I'll show you these if you take it over there. I hope I press the right buttons, but yeah, it happens. And in a, almost, or virtually everywhere I have seen so far, you get these boxes. Tag supplies. You tag the supplies, it we'll gives you 50 or medical. These supplies later. And tag these supplies, it gives you more points, but it just apparently put me up to level 7, so you can go higher on 6. Gasoline by 50. Which means that's the things you need for up here, at the top here. For certain upgrades, you need to have these up to a certain number. As you can see here on the bottom left, you see the V plus sign with a hundred one thousand five hundred. That's what you will need before you can upgrade. And as well you will need skill point upgrade. Requirements too. Most have two, but to get there before even selecting every first one is one. Every second one is two. Well, every second one looks like it's actually depending on level. This one is you only need two, but for grenade launcher you need to be at least have three. And so on and so forth. The higher you go and the more you need. And the drones, oh look, I have unlocked more stuff for the drone. I am not going to upgrade because there is no point <laughs> at this time. But yeah, you need to always check and make sure you pick up and tag the supplies. And there's a few more. There should be another one over here. Which is inside. And somewhere. And see, because it's not in this corner, means that the package is upstairs. And same again, you just run over to it. Hold your key that whatever yours is. Mine is E for keyboard. And you tag your supplies. And that's it. That's how you upgrade your skills. Well, no, not your skills, but things you need extra for your skills before you can upgrade. And let's go back to driving and find more enemies. And you just have to wait for your NPC teammates to catch up and jump in. <laughs> it's a bit slow. Ready? Fire, fire, fire! And they're with me on this mission. Well, there's no mission at the moment because, as I've previously mentioned, I have complete everything so far. Oh, look, and I see a man. Oh, there's a man. Oh, no, let's snipe his ass. He's down. Just like that. One shot to the chest. Which, being a sniper rifle, should be. And there should be another enemy here somewhere, and there he is. Oh, there he is, he doesn't know we're here. Boom! Oh, pop him right in the back of the head. Just as easy as that. And what I was saying in my last video about caged allies. Here they are here. And as well, you use your action key, I will say. And boom! You have released some rebels. They will run to the ammo boxes and pick up some weapons, like so. Take your time, like, but yeah, they do. And as usual, you can reload, change your loadouts to whatever you want, whatever weapon you have unlocked at this previous moment, and so on. But let's go find this guy here, because you can see on the map in the bottom right, 
There's uh, red glows, which means that's where an enemy is situated. The lieutenant's on the run. At this moment in time, I do not know where he is. He's possibly inside upstairs. And there he is. Yeah, he's down. Enemy down. Which is pretty funny that most... It's, a, it's an assault rifle and they give you 20 bullets in a clip. That's not the greatest to be... But you don't really need that many bullets to kill these enemies because no, there's no lot of bullet sponging at this time. Which it probably will be later on the more we got the, the, the enemies get. You know. I know like teammates of rebels have just taken out an enemy. Which is pretty handy. And for this enemy, he appears to be in this building somewhere. Which at this moment, I do not know. Oh, there he is. And he's dead. Enemy down. But yeah, as, as I have said before, I have previously completed all missions at this moment. So for now, I'm just killing some random enemies. Oh, look at that. Popped him behind his cover. <laughs> There's another enemy. And another. Pop. Another one down. With 10 bullets. Can we take out this last enemy with 10 bullets? Yes, we can. Tango down. And my NPC teammates are not, not doing much whatsoever. They're always way behind. Not helping much. But yeah. Did you even get a sports car? Which looks like a Lamborghini. Which one mission, that's what you have to do. And you have to capture an enemy vehicle and deliver it for them to get GPS locations. But this one is just a random one sitting nowhere. And once you're in the vehicle, when you're a passenger, you press your whatever button it tells you, like for me, as my mouse wheel, and you will become the driver. Look at that, tap tap and the back end is wrecked. <laughs> Slight taps and your vehicles are destroyed. Vehicle durability ain't very great. But yeah. And look, you can even drive a tractor if you like. <laughs> pretty cool. Got all these kinny options stuff. And as well, if I can find the stairway. Stairs, go the way to the roof, and according to the map, there should be a helicopter. Something blown up around. Me. And there she is, helicopter. It is none special, but you do get ones with mini guns. This one has nothing to offer at this moment, and you can fly. And as always, we are waiting for our NPC teammates. I think if you fly away, they just teleport into your vehicle anyway. Okay. Thing was taking off before we even ready. But for me, for to take off, I have to hold shift. And up we go. And we are flying. Fire, fire, fire. Just like so. And the Unidad patrols are just like police. And I'm going down too fast. Uh. <laughs> and I have damaged my helicopter because the durability is pretty shabby. Not very durable vehicles in the game. Pretty easily damaged. But yeah. And as well, you can fly up high as you like. Fly up and up and up and up as high as whatever you want, and you can eject. Geranimo. And as you see, you have a parachute. And put the parachute. There we go. We're clear on this side. 
just like so. Pretty neat. Got some hostile activity. Mm -hmm. Here we've got an enemy vehicle with a big gun on it. Wee spinning down. Stop drop and roll, Hang but take this time to get it. That's a kill. Maybe I should have shot him first before he went on to the, he went to the minigun. Boom! All dead. And as usual, you get vehicles with miniguns on them. And it is an actual minigun. Yes, he didn't want any trouble. Because he just kept on driving. And I press N and I can fire a grenade! Like so. Look at the range on that today! Holy oh, moly! That is pretty far, I'd say. Let's see, I don't know if it'll show up, but let's see how far I can fire this baby. Boom! Let's watch way carefully. And look, way over there past them trees. Which, <laughs> that's pretty far for a grenade launcher. Uh, always make sure you press your button again before you go back to your machine gun. That's it, we're clear. I'll drive. But yeah, this game for beta is pretty sweet. And in my opinion, it's well worth a purchase. I don't know. I'd definitely purchase this when it's available in... Uh, it was August. Uh, August? October? Uh, April! <laughs> April, I think it was. March? April, March? But yeah. If you like this kind of game, I would definitely suggest a purchase. You won't be, you won't be disappointed. Because there will be more content available <laughs> at purchase. But yeah, in my opinion, it is worth it. It'd be worth the purchase. So if you purchase and you play it, I hope you enjoy. So this is the second video, and probably not much else to show about the game anyway. So that'll be me for now. And I shall catch you later. Bye bye.